Welcome to this travel and history tip and we have finally made it to Frog Legs. We found this beautiful mural of dancing in the rain in Rain, Louisiana. We parked at the police station to snap pictures of the town's frog statues, murals, and miscellaneous frog-related stuff. And we found some very interesting things in this small town. Welcome to the City of Rain, frog capital of the world. Off I-10, Rain is the frog capital of the world. Well, maybe I should say frog leg capital. While in the area, order a plate of fried frog legs as an appetizer. Oh, come on, be adventurous. They are really yummy. Back in the 1880s, a gourmet chef from there started selling juicy, delectable bullfrogs to restaurants in New Orleans and New York. Jock Wheel and his brothers, Edmund and Gontran, moved to Rain from Paris in 1901. They established a mercantile business that shipped frogs to restaurants and universities across the country. The business became a landmark in the area, exporting as much as 10,000 pounds of frog legs per week. The local Catholic cemetery is known as the Wrong Way Cemetery because the graves face north south instead of the usual east-west orientation. We walked, I would say, about 10 blocks that day, but we did not come across the cemetery. We'll have to make that on a different stop. And I am updating the Unclassic Road Trip, the Central Edition, and making dozens of new entries to all of the states. Louisiana is the festival capital of America, with more than 400 events to choose from that celebrate frogs to Zydeco. The Frog Festival is held in rain the first weekend in May. Adjacent to the police station is Jock. The sculpture of Monsieur Jock was created for display in August of 2006. For various reasons, the sculpture was left unpainted or skinless. In this form, unity of humanity is represented by showing that underneath the colors of our flesh, we are all the same. Even though there are different skin colors, there is only one human flesh on earth. The murals are really cute. Some are needing to have a little fresh touch up and some of them are just perfect. We walked through Depot Square square and I found one of these clocks that I like to find across cities and towns in America. Coming soon will be a video on clocks just like this one that we have found all around the country and a special video on a clock museum in Connecticut. You won't want to miss either one of those videos. Keep an eye out. The water fountain was kind of dry that day and the Christmas tree was still up, but I think it's decorated for spring. Most of the shops have artwork on their windows, a boutique, the cleaners, and the Rain Acadian Tribune. All these places celebrate Rain, the frog capital of the world. Don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up and classic road trip flip-flops on the ground and classic road trip. Thank you.